Men over 60, I need you to go to your freezer right now and grab an ice cube. Not for your drink, not for an injury, for something you'd never expect. This ice cube technique can trigger an instant blood flow surge that floods your penis in under 60 seconds. And before I show you exactly how to do it, you need to understand the science behind why this works. Because once you understand the mechanism, you'll know exactly why this 30-second technique is so powerful. I'm Dr. Amara Cruz, and for over 14 years, I've been helping men over 60 reclaim their performance using science-backed techniques. No pills, no prescriptions, no expensive treatments, just methods that work with your body's natural biology. And this ice cube method? It's based on contrast therapy a technique professional athletes have been using for decades to boost circulation and recovery. Let me explain the science first, then I'll show you the exact technique. Now, quick note before we dive in. It's January. It's cold outside. So when I say use an ice cube, I'm not asking you to turn into a popsicle. We're talking about strategic, brief cold exposure. Stay warm, stay safe, and let's do this the smart way. Here's what's happening in your body when you apply cold to a specific area. Mechanism number one, vasoconstriction followed by rebound vasodilation. This is the most important concept to understand. When cold touches your skin, your blood vessels immediately contract. They get smaller. This is called vasoconstriction. Your body is basically saying, cold detected, protect the area, constrict blood vessels to preserve heat. But here's where the magic happens. When you remove that cold stimulus, your body doesn't just return to normal, it overcompensates. Think of it like a rubber band. When you pull it tight and then release it, it doesn't just go back to its original position. It snaps back with force. Your blood vessels do the same thing. When you remove the cold, they don't just open back to their normal size. They expand wider than they were before the cold was applied. This is called rebound vasodilation, and it floods the area with fresh, oxygen-rich blood. Professional athletes use this exact principle in ice baths and cryotherapy. Brief cold exposure followed by warming creates a circulation surge that speeds recovery and enhances performance. Now mechanism number two, nerve activation and adrenaline response. Your perineum, that's the area between your scrotum and your anus, sits directly over something called the pudendal nerve. This nerve controls erectile function. When you apply cold to this specific spot, you're not just affecting blood vessels. You're shocking thousands of nerve endings into action. Those nerve endings send urgent signals up to your brain. Temperature change detected. Increase blood flow immediately. Your brain responds by releasing a small burst of adrenaline and triggering vasodilation throughout your entire pelvic region, not just at the cold spot, but in all the surrounding tissue, including your penis. This is why location matters so much. The perineum is the most nerve-dense area you can access externally that directly connects to erectile tissue. Studies on contrast therapy show that this technique can increase local blood flow by 200 to 300%. That's double or triple your baseline circulation, and the effect happens fast. Within 30 to 60 seconds of removing the cold, you're experiencing peak blood flow. Now here's the part most men don't understand. This technique works because of the contrast. Your body is already warm inside, especially in your core and pelvic region. When you apply brief cold to a specific nerve-rich area, you're creating a temperature shock. Your body interprets this as, we need to protect this area, flood it with warm blood now. So even though it's winter and cold outside, this technique actually makes you warmer where it counts. The contrast between your warm core and the brief cold stimulus is what triggers the rebound effect. Think of it like a thermostat. When the temperature drops suddenly, your heating system doesn't just maintain, it overcompensates. Your body does the same thing. Now that you understand why this works, let me show you exactly how to do it. Here's the step-by-step -step technique. Step one, get one ice cube from your freezer, just one, not a whole tray. Step two, wrap it in a thin cloth or paper towel. This is critical. Never apply bare ice directly to skin. The cloth protects against ice burn while still allowing the cold to penetrate. Step three, find your perineum. That's the spot between your scrotum and your anus, about the size of a quarter. Step four, Place the wrapped ice cube on that exact spot. Step five, hold for 10 seconds. Count slowly, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, all the way to 10. Step six, remove completely for five seconds. Let the area start warming. Step seven, reapply for another 10 seconds. Repeat this cycle three times total. Total ice contact time, 30 seconds spread across three applications. That's it, simple, fast, effective. 
Now, when should you do this? Two to five minutes before intimacy, not during, not an hour before. The rebound vasodilation effect peaks within those few minutes. You want to time it so the blood flow surge happens right when you need it. Now, let me show you the three most common mistakes men make with this technique, because getting these wrong can actually prevent the results you're looking for. Mistake number one, using bare ice directly on skin. This is dangerous, especially in winter when your skin is already dealing with cold and dry conditions. You can cause ice burn or temporary numbness. The cold needs to penetrate, but gradually. The thin cloth allows this while protecting your skin. Don't skip this step. Mistake number two, leaving the ice on too long. Some men think more is better. They leave the ice on for 30, 45, even 60 seconds straight. Wrong. This causes actual numbing, which blocks the nerve signals we're trying to activate. You end up with reduced sensation instead of increased blood flow. 10 seconds is the sweet spot. Brief enough to avoid numbness, long enough to trigger the vasoconstriction that leads to rebound vasodilation. Mistake number three, doing it while you're already cold. If you're shivering, if your hands are freezing, if the room is cold, this technique won't work as well. Remember, it's the contrast that matters. If your body is already cold, adding more cold doesn't create the shock response we need. Solution, warm up the rest of your body first. Put on warm socks, make sure the room is heated, get comfortable, then apply the ice to the specific spot. The contrast will be powerful because your core is warm while the targeted area gets brief cold exposure. We're using strategic cold, not making ourselves miserable. Smart technique, warm environment. Now here's the advanced version. Contrast therapy cycling. After your three ice applications, immediately follow with a warm washcloth on the same spot. Hold warm for 10 seconds, then back to ice for 10 seconds. Alternate three times. This doubles the blood flow effect because your vessels are expanding and contracting repeatedly. Winter tip. If you're already cold, warm up the rest of your body first. Heated room, warm socks, comfortable temperature. Then use the ice on the specific spot. The contrast works better when your core is warm. Important safety note, if you have circulation issues or extreme cold sensitivity, skip this technique. Use toothbrush, spoon, or socks instead. If you're shivering or uncomfortable, stop. This should be brief and controlled, not miserable. Let's recap. One ice cube wrapped in cloth. Apply to perineum for 10 seconds, off for five seconds, repeat three times. Do this two five minutes before intimacy. Keep the rest of you warm, that's it. Free, simple, science-backed. Try it once and let me know in the comments if you felt the blood flow surge. Subscribe for more unconventional techniques like this. I post twice a week. Next video, a technique that requires zero cold exposure. Perfect for winter. It involves your hands, but not how you think. See you then, my friend. Stay warm.